another snowplow driver is stuck. So we want to check in with him. Um, this is our second report of us hearing this. Joe, I'm sure it happens a lot. Yeah, Dave Cerise, we're out here at 165th in Maple, and we just came across this snowplow that did end up getting stuck as it was trying to make a left turn over this way. It ran into what you can see right here is just very deep mud, and the wheels ended up getting stuck. So he's been sitting here now for at least about 20 minutes that we've been here, and as you can see, they're hooking up chains to this uh, tractor right now in hopes of pulling him out. Now, before you joined us, we were just here with this tractor as it tried to pull out for a good five minutes and they didn't make much progress. You can see just how deep down those tires of the snowplow are. Now, I of course did check in with the driver before we joined you guys and he, he is safe. He is okay. You saw him walking around, but just a very frustrating day. And you can see as they make another attempt trying to get him out, it's that mud that is creating such a tricky problem. And as we just saw here, the tractor, the tires start spinning on the roadways as he's trying to pull out the snowplow from this deep mud. Now we are again at 165th and Maple and the thing that is helping these guys is there isn't much traffic in either direction. We're here on a median. It's a pretty wide median, so we're safe. But imagine if people were on the roadways as they were trying to do this. So it is a good thing to stay off of the roadways and keep them clear. We're going to stay out here and continue to watch this snowplow as it tries to get out of the mud and we'll continue to update you as this happens. But for now, I think they're going to be having a tough time getting this out again reporting live here at 165th and Maple. Joe Chioda, we'll send it back to you.